How's it going, everybody? Episode 10. That leaves us only two left counting this one, and here we start off with one of the best puzzles, I think, of the game. This is a very complicated puzzle, and if you don't know how to just do it right, or think about it just in the right way, it is nearly impossible to do, and it will take you hours. The top one took me forever, and that's why I always do the top one first, just because... For some reason, I just simply couldn't wrap my head around it. And the bottom one, I found it to be incredibly easy. And I think that's because when I when I tried starting out with this puzzle, I tried moving the pieces around as much as I could, kind of shuffling everything and try to get try to get the things in the places I wanted them to be. And in truth, both puzzles you're supposed to just move everything only a little bit, just enough to get one piece out of the way and then one move up and then one move back, and it's all supposed to fit together nicely like that. So, yeah, I'm, that's why it kind of fails. Yeah, I got it! Well, after that, you get the little USB cable kind of thing. And you walk over there and stick it into his head, and it connects you straight to... Well, whoever this robot guy is. I'm not sure, maybe a intelligent fella. And you go into this little mini-game where you have to go around. And it's a very complicated thing. If you don't, if you miss one path and you only miss one enemy that you, you forgot about, you could spend up to, like, ten minutes searching back and forth trying to get this guy and that's a problem now I wasted about three or four minutes kind of trying to find last three guys so it's it's kind of bad but I left the whole thing there just to make sure that you can actually know where each enemy is in case you get lost to him. And I'm really sorry about the audio it is terrible but that's what you get for having your mic input way too high so you can actually kind of, after you see me get the gun and kill a, a few enemies, you can really skip the entire thing because it's more or less just going around and making sure everyone else is dead in order to clear out his brain. I guess those are viruses. If you completely skip the episode after this point, you'll end up missing a cutscene that shows you how to do some stuff where you got a light bulb. But at the same time, you, I'll show you how to use it and stuff in the next episode, so it, it really doesn't matter if you watch it or not. But if you really want to see the cutscene, about 920 and then you'll get it and yeah well anyways thank you for joining me thank you for staying with me the entire time i know i'm kind of crazy sometimes oh. and uh, we only got one episode left and i hope you enjoy it thank you all and see you later
finish. Oh, I see it. 